The latest jobs report came back worse than what many economists predicted, and it's causing some concern about the U.S. economy's actual growth. Economists were expecting to see as many as 164,000 jobs created in May. Instead, there were only 38,000 jobs added, making it the weakest performance in more than five years. The unemployment rate also dropped to 4.7 percent. Not because people were getting jobs, though, but because nearly half a million people stopped looking for work. These disappointing figures have Chairwoman Janet Yellen doing damage control since the Federal Reserve is now far less likely to move ahead with plans to raise interest rates in either June or July. Yellen will address the World Affairs Council in Philadelphia on Monday so we could get a better idea of where the Fed stands then. President Obama did not mention the poor jobs report in his weekly address. Instead, he touted the U.S. economic turnaround over the last seven years as a result of his administration. America's businesses have created 14.5 million new jobs over 75 straight months. We've seen the first sustained manufacturing growth since the 90s. Yet Republican leaders argue the U.S. economy should be doing better and growing faster than it has under the Obama administration. We've had anemic growth throughout the history of President Obama's tenure, and it's been directly related to his policies. We should have well above 2 percent growth, maybe 4 percent growth, and instead the president celebrates when we have maybe 1.5 percent. Officials at the Federal Reserve will be keeping a close eye on the next jobs report a month from now to decide if May was an anomaly or the beginning of an economic slowdown. In Washington, I'm Garrett Tenney, Fox News.